So our next task is cross compiler and toolchain download. To cross compile Linux kernel, Linux application and kernel modules to ARM Cortex AX architecture, we need a cross compiler. Because the SOC which is there on our BeagleBone Black hardware is AM335X which is from Texas Instruments. This SOC is based on ARM Cortex A8 processor of ARM V7 architecture. That's the reason why we need to have the cross compiler because we need to cross compile all our Linux source code, the application and the kernel modules. We are going to download this cross compiler from linaro.org. What you have to do is just head over to your browser and just type in the Google Linaro toolchain and follow this link linaro.org downloads. To refer to this section latest Linux targeted binary toolchain releases, just click on this binary. So it will take you to this web page and from here you can download. If your machine is 32 bit, or if you are using 32 bit OS, then download this version GCC Linaro 7.5.0 2019 i686 underscore ARM Linux GNU EABI HF dot tar dot XG. So you have to download this. And if you are using 64 bit machine or 64 bit OS, then you have to download x86 underscore 64 ARM Linux. GNU EABI HF dot ta dot XG. If you don't know whether uh, if your machine is 32 bit or 64 bit, then just run this command uname hyphen A. So if it shows x86 underscore 64, then it's a 64 bit machine. I hope you can do that and place this uh, file in the downloads folder. So I hope you have downloaded these files. So your downloads folder should look like this. It should have pre-built images, the Debian image, and also the cross compiler. After that, we have to install one more application that is gparted application. This application will be used to partition our SD card. This is a graphical user interface application which we are going to use to partition the micro SD card. What you need to do is just go to show applications and here just type software or soft and go to Ubuntu software. Here you have to search that application. So here is a search box and just type gparted. For you, uh, you will see an install button here. Please. Uh, install the software and uh, so let's learn how to set up the toolchain path now in the previous lecture you have already downloaded the toolchain we have to uh, set the appropriate path this will be helpful while compiling our uh, source codes you have to add the toolchain binary path to home directories dot bash rc file these are the steps you have to follow one you have to go to your home directory Open dot bash rc file using vim or gedit tool. After that, the third step is copy the below export command with path information to dot bash rc file. The command must be export path is equal to dollar sign path and colon path to toolchain binaries. And after that, save and close the dot bash rc file. Let's head over to our downloads folder and extract this toolchain so you can use extract here here you can see that it is extracting so please be patient go inside this folder and here you find bin go inside that you have to give this path in the path settings for that let's go to the command prompt and let's head over to that folder downloads gcc linaro 
and just type pwd and this is a path just select that path that's it and now come to your home directory open dot bash rc and here you can see that i have already one export command let me first remove that come at the end type export and after that path is equal to dollar sign path colon and now paste that path that's it after that save and exit type the command source dot bash rc just type three letters arm and hit tab here you can see that the command prompt has detected our toolchain binaries uh, for example this is a cross compiler gcc for our arm cortex a8 architecture and this is an assembler this is a debugger gdb and uh, this is a linker these are the tools used to analyze the elf file format such as by using nm command you can analyze the symbols object copy you can use to convert elf to a different uh, binary format such as dot pin or dot hex like that object dump is used to dump the contents of the elf file format and uh, various tools we can use to analyze the kernel modules or any file which is in the elf format to reproduce this at your desk and uh, let me know if you face any issues i'll see you in the next lecture